<laughs> Hi guys, it's Carol. How are ya? I'm here. <laughs> I'm going to apologize right now for this video. It is scatterbrained. It is not a good video, but I'm going to go ahead and post it because I haven't posted one one time. I'm sorry, I just caught myself swinging. I don't mean to make you dizzy. Uh, I don't think my medicine is working, my antidepressants. I have just not been doing well. Horribly. Uh, horrible anxiety. Stressed out. Awful. But... I thought, gee, I need to make a video, so I tried it today. Please bear with me. <laughs> uh, understand that's why this is a crazy video. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'll have a better one. I see my doctor in May, so get that all straightened out. Okay, I appreciate you guys. Here comes the video. Bye. guys, it's Carol. How are ya? Uh, I feel like it's been a month of Sunday since I made a video, but we're going to do a grocery haul today. And I'm going to tell you about some books I've been reading. Uh, I'll do the books first. This one is first in a new series, except this was in 2021. So there's another book already uh, out after this one. Anyway, it's called A Plus One for Murder. This girl named Emma, I always wanted to be her own boss, and so she opened up a travel agency, which went belly up. <laughs> and so um, she gets a part-time job at a, no, that's the other book, that's the other book. <laughs> start this over. Just start with that book. If that's Emma <laughs> did have the travel agency that went belly up <laughs> and um, a, an, an older lady neighbor of hers told her why don't you start a business where you um, um, act as a friend and she said, I don't want that kind of business. <laughs> and she said, no, no. Uh, like when somebody needs somebody to go to a wedding with them or something like that, uh, you could be their plus one. And she's thinking about it when this lady sends some customers her way. And right off the bat, she had three customers. One of them was a man named Brian. And he told her he'd pay her $100 if she would go to this open mic night at this place. And he would buy her food and drink and pay her the $100. Because he just wanted her to be there to clap for him because he didn't think anybody else would. And so she does this. And right before he goes on, he, he gives her a piece of paper that's got a picture of four different people on it, including the sheriff. And he said, look around, these people are here. Do you see where they are? And she found them all. And she said, um, they all want me dead. And then he goes up on stage and starts reading this poem. And the poem begins, look around, look around. Here sit those you laud, but soon you too will know their fraud. And the poem goes on about, he doesn't mention names, he doesn't mention occupations, but you can pretty much guess who he's talking about in this poem. But before he finishes the poem, he falls down dead on stage. And so now she feels like she needs to figure out who, who of the four people killed him. I really liked it. This was a good book. Laura Bradford, first in a new series, a plus one for murder. Why do you always like books where people kill each other? <laughs> Taylor wants to know why I like books where people kill each other. These are cozy mysteries. They're gentle. This one is cozy book, uh, Death in Bloom. It's the first in a series by Jess Dillon. 
And in this one, the lady's name is Sierra. She went to Nashville to become a singer, and that did not work out. So she's come back home, and she's working in a florist shop part-time. And uh, she does a workshop on flower arranging, and these people came, and when they go to eat um, the snacks at, in the middle, somebody falls over dead. <laughs> so now she's got to find out, why did he die at her workshop? <laughs> and this one, I really like this one too. If you can get past the part that she's a 28 year old living on a part-time job in a floor shop. <laughs> and um, there's some other things that are kind of goofy, but anyway, I really did like it and I didn't know who did the murder in either one of these. Okay, those are the cozy mysteries I've been reading. Now we're gonna do a grocery haul. I'm sitting on my couch. <laughs> I have to tell you something. One of my subs, um, I saw on another channel that she had gone to said, it's stupid to do a grocery haul on your couch. <laughs> And I thought, oh, well, <laughs> the reason I do is I'm in my living room at my apartment. The front door is right there. The only other door is right there that goes out on the patio. So we bring groceries in. I have everything written down that I ordered. And so I want to check them off as I go um, to make sure I got everything that I paid for. And with Walmart, I don't think we've ever missed anything. We every once in a blue moon. A couple of times we've gotten something that we didn't order and didn't pay for, but anyway. Anyway, that's that's why I do them on the couch. My kitchen is tiny. If I took these bags in there and unloaded it all off on the counter and the stove, which I did in one video, it would just be covered and it's easier for me to do it here, sit down, mark my things off, and then we'll either take what goes in the pantry bedroom or what goes to the refrigerator from here. Works for me. Okay, first thing is great value natural peanut butter. So you want more peanut butter? <laughs> Taylor, <laughs> this was $1.72. I bought it because I want to make some uh, dog treats and it you needed natural peanut butter for that. Casey's handed me things. Okay. Guacamole because Taylor had wanted enchilada casserole sometime. Can you set it on that side of you? Yeah. Sour cream for her enchilada casserole. Enchilada casserole. Cheese. Oh, I was going to tell you the price of everything. Uh, the cheese was $4.22 for one pound. The guacamole was four eighty eight. dollars The sour cream was $1.16 for eight ounces. Okay, this is mozzarella because I want lasagna sometime. It was two forty two dollars for eight ounces. Uh, lasagna takes cottage cheese, and this Our lasagna does. was two thirty-eight. dollars The um, dog treats that I want to make take brown rice. No, no, this goes in the dog food I want to make. I, I'm, I'm very well organized and know what I'm doing here, obviously. Natural brown rice. I'm stuck. It's $1.37 for two pounds. That goes in some dog food I'm gonna make. I'll make a video making that dog food too. The dog food called for sweet potatoes. Walmart didn't have any frozen. That's what I, the recipe called for. So I bought these. I'm just gonna wash the syrup off and put them in the crock pot with the other ingredients for the dog food. And sweet potatoes were Oh, a dollar thirteen. Then, because we like to have enchilada casserole real often, I bought six cans of 
Old El Paso red enchilada sauce, medium. We only have four cans so far. Well, I ordered six for $1.98 a can. Um, there's one and Taylor took off with some. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the hamburger to make the enchilada casserole with. And it was five fourteen. Eggs. Let me tell you about eggs. Eggs have gone up. Uh, I noticed it when I ordered the groceries last night. The eggs sure had gone up. But then, uh, this m morning I was watching a video from Maniac Grammy's homestead, Brenda, and she was talking about, she had been to Dollar Tree and got eight eggs for $1.25. And I took, so I looked it up to see how much eggs were, because I'd forgotten what it was. Last night when I ordered these, these were two seventy-seven for one dozen. And that's the price that they charged me. But today, they're $3.15. Mm. If I had ordered uh, 18 eggs, it was for something like four sixty-five or something. Okay. Peas and carrots, frozen peas and carrots for the dog food. Most of this is for dog food. Um, frozen green beans for dog food. Frozen spinach for dog food. Um, the spinach was a dollar. The peas and carrots were 77 cents. And the green beans were 77 cents. Bananas. Bananas. I got two, four, six, seven for a dollar seventy-six. This is Great Value brand Honey Nut Cheerios, basically. It's crunchy honey nut oats. This is for, oh, poo. That's not what I wanted. I needed honey bunches of oats that looks like. Uh, Cheerios? Cheerios. Honey, is that what they're called? Honey nut Cheerios. Honey nut Cheerios. That's what I needed. But I, I like didn't want to pay that price for them, so I was looking for a uh, great value brand. This was a dollar seventy. Where is it? Anyway, I'm so organized. This is what a dollar eighty four. This is not the little Cheerio rings, but it says crunchy honey oats and it's flakes. It will do for the dog treats. And then, last thing is the head of lettuce was a dollar forty four, and that's it. Except I bought. Um, a bag of miracle Grow because I want to get my plants out on my patio. I spending money on miracle Grow and on bedding plants is a lot of money, but that's, that's my one really big splurge pretty much for me for the year because I just have to have flowers out there. And we're going to plant some seeds, but I like to buy bedding plants too. Okay, guys, that's it for our grocery haul. These are the two books that I really enjoyed. Death in Bloom, a plus one for murder. And I'll try not to be so slow about making it the next video. Bye-bye. I'm sorry, guys, that I sound so, uh, because I'm stressed. <laughs> it's It's been a week. Um, but anyway, we're making that enchilada casserole, so I thought I might as well show you that, too. Taylor is browning the hamburger meat and some onion. That was her hand waving to you. I've Hi got guys. pinto beans that I had cooked in, in the crock pot and then I just froze them in baggies. So we're going to put that instead of a can of um, pinto beans. It also calls for diced green chilies, cream of mushroom soup, and we're going to use two cans of this. Let me read it and make sure I got everything. One pound of ground beef, a dozen corn tortillas, that where you layer it. We'll need that. Two cans of cream of mushroom, the onions, cheddar cheese, green chilies, and enchilada sauce. She's going to cook this, then we'll drain the grease off, and we'll add the other ingredients except for the cheese and tortillas. Whoops, that's steaming up my... <laughs> phone. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
uh, anyway, when she gets this made, we'll put, we prefer to have tortilla chips instead of corn tortillas. So we'll put a little bit of meat in the bottom of our casserole pan. Then we'll put a layer of tortilla chips. Then we'll put more meat mixture, another layer of tortilla chips, and like usually two either. layers is about all we get, sometimes three. And then we'll top that with cheese, put it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes, and we love it. So that's what we're having for lunch. Before I stop, I wanted to show you one of my favorite kitchen gadgets. This is to strain grease off of hamburger. It comes apart, there's that little tray. If This has a lid so you don't have to smell it if you don't want to. And this is, I'm trying to figure out how to show it. You see, it's got holes. And then the grease just drips through. I love this thing. In fact, I got all my kids one and my sister for Christmas one year and they love it too. So, it's, I forgot what it's called, but anyway, I love it. Got it from Amazon. Okay, guys, I'm, oh, and this I got at Dollar Tree. We really like that, too. When you put your hamburger in the pan, you go like that and chop it up. Works wonderful. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. This is such a crazy video. We're all stressed this morning, but next time will be better. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Let me know how you're doing. Okay, bye-bye.